right guys, we are here, BC Hydro Charger in Hickson, BC, and trying out this SeaTech CCS charger again. And looks like it's starting to charge, it's working. 31 kilowatts over here. 31 kilowatts equals what inside? And this time I'm not at a super high state of charge either. 27 kilowatts in here. So that's pretty decent. It's minus six out, 75% state of charge. 27 kilowatts here. Let's go double check what it is at the station. I think it was like 35 or something. 36 it is. Yeah, 36. So, so far, consistency. This is a older BC Hydro Charger. This has been here for, I think, I think it was installed, you know, early 2020. So, we'll keep testing this. All right, now we have the Tesla Chatamo adapter. Same machine, same temperature, state of charge pretty much the same. I only let it charge for a couple minutes on the SeaTech adapter. So let's check this out, Chatamo. Come on. Wait for this to ramp up. Should be in the 30s to match the CCS. Okay, 31 kilowatts. We'll come back and take a look. Chatamo charging up nicely. Twenty-five kilowatts here. 25, 26, that's about the same speed we were getting with the uh, CCS adapter. We are gonna try some more stations here as we head down to Quinell for a quick little round trip. But uh, so far, similar. Uh, when we get to Quinell, we'll probably be 60, 50 or 60%, we'll see. All right, we are here in Quinell, testing out the SeaTech CCS1 adapter on another BC Hydro charging station. And just getting started up here. Let's check this out. And we are charging at 37 kilowatts on the machine. We are much lower state of charge at this point. So let's see, we got 37 compared to 35, so almost the same. State of charge is 56%. It's minus six degrees Celsius. So that's pretty decent. And uh, I'll just let it charge up to maybe 58%. And then I'm going to hook up the Chatamo adapter and we'll see what we get going there. But as you can see here, you know, 39 kilowatts. This is a 50 kilowatt BC Hydro charger. So it's pretty decent speed. All right, people, we're using the Tesla Chatamo adapter on the same charger in Quinell. I believe state of charge is about 62%. So I let the other one warm up the battery. The uh, CTEC CCS warmed up the battery a bit charging for about five ten minutes let's see what the machine's telling us 46 kilowatts and let's see what we got inside thirty five so I think this is fairly similar I think we had thirty four thirty five with the CCS adapter it's minus six sixty three percent state of charge uh, the CCS adapter did get into the low 40s. Um, we will see if the Chatamo gets there. Battery is warm because it's been charging for a good 10 minutes, so it's not cold. 
basically it looks like the CCS adapter is getting peeking out about the same as where the Chatamo was at. So I have a feeling that there's uh, some loss between what the charging machine says and what the adapters are doing, but it's not just the CCS adapter, it's also the Chatamo. Right, 46 here, there's like 36 to 38 inside the car. Anyways, uh, next stop is going to be uh, an ABB 50 kilowatt charger uh, Ministry of Transportation, just south of town. All right, here we are at the Australian rest area CCS CTEC adapter. This is a uh, ABB, Ministry of Transportation charger, and I do believe it's 60 or 50 kilowatt. Just gotta push the CCS adapter here. And start. And let's see what happens. Well, that's looking really good. Let's check it out. Charging. Does this tell us the charge rate? Yeah. Just how many kilowatts are delivered? Do I have to push the question mark maybe? No. Alright, let's go take a look inside the car. Not sure if this machine actually tells us how much it's outputting, but that looks good over there. And we're getting 40 kilowatts. 60% state of charge. Temperature is minus 5 degrees Celsius. But you saw it, we're up to 40 kilowatts, so... I'll keep monitoring this and then I'll get the Chatamo on and we'll compare and uh, it's working. All right guys, we're gonna start the Chatamo. I guess it's already plugged in. Go start and Let's see what goes on here. This is the Tesla Chatamo adapter comparing to the speed of the CCS adapter. And pretty sure these uh, ABB machines don't tell you the output. They just tell you how many kilowatts delivered, but you don't, there's no way to push a button to show the speed. That's unfortunate, but uh, they do seem to give consistently faster output than the BC Hydro chargers. Let's take a look in here and see what we're getting. So basically the same. It was just 40 a second ago. 68% uh, state of charge. 38, 39, 40 kilowatts is what we're getting. Temperature is minus five degrees Celsius. So, so far all of the tests, the CCS adapter from CTEC is giving me the same speed that I'm getting from the Tesla Chatamo adapter. Now, all of these stations are 50 kilowatts, so, you know, rarely do I ever get up there. So, in the 40s is pretty much normal for me from what I've seen. When it's warmer temperatures outside, I get maybe 44, 45. But, uh, here we go. <laughs> 